Hello folks and welcome back to a wet and drizzly new man's land. Um, we're going to kick off, we're going straight back into what we were doing in the end of the last episode, which is getting this grass field seeded. There we go, make sure it's lowered. Man, it's absolutely chucking it down, but no rest for the big kid. We need to get this into the ground today. So, actually, where did we get to in the end last time? So, if I get grass enabled, so we only done this headland over here. So, I think what we do is we'll finish this off. Ah, right, you can just about to see the difference in the texture of the ground from here. Of course we're doing it with the fast farming technique, so... But even then, with 800 horsepower this has got. It does obviously require some effort of getting this pulled along. Which makes sense, of course. But still, it's making light work of this. And yeah, so we'll get the grass in the ground with the straw fill. We did do another full load of straw. So currently, we've collected 400,000 litres of straw from that mega field. That's very such a surface. So, you know what? I thought about obviously do the grass and that, you know, a cover crop and that, get that furrow to stay in. But I'm not going to now. Instead, I'll just. We'll just leave it and then plan to crop in in the new year now. Well, unless we do, yeah, wheat or barley again. Or canola, we can still do canola now. Harvest it in August next year. Get a ton of canola oil. That would mean a new plant because the one we got at the moment won't be able to keep up. If the amount of canoe we've been producing, so yeah, that's an idea. So there we go, that is all of that fully seeded. And now on to the rest of this. So actually, I don't think it's going to take too long. I'm thinking, let's get a worker on this. There we go. I'm still got the fence, so where's that two? There it is. So I think we still use this, and still pick up some of the straw now. I'll try it with the new 20 meter wind rower, but I'm not sure if I. I fair, it should be able to do it without too much of an issue. Because the wind rower, 11 miles an hour, 13. So, yeah. I shall have a look. So, the wind rower is at the end of the mega field. Man, that thunder's coming down the road. Hello, old friend. And now, let's get the wind rower connected. I mean, just look, tons of straw left still, an absolute ton and ton and ton of straw. Obviously the bar feel I think that was, that does need the lighting so even after we've gone and mulch it, still needs to, yeah that sort it. But yeah, let's see what this can do. Obviously, the goal is 11 miles an hour. And it's doing it fine. Perhaps when it comes to 
going uphill, it may struggle a bit more, but the size from that has actually mentioned it right. It's has in the big swaths okay. Not on dropping speed or anything like that, so but yeah, I think it's doing good so far, so yeah. We will continue on this, see how much we can get done today. And I may see you folks in the morning once we get everything seeded and much is picked up for nightfall. seeding done and it's been rolled and we sold the roller because we did decide to buy a new roller we bought the Mendenko 5plex roller just something a bit bigger than that for help us speed things up so yeah we've got a bunch of produce here ready to sell we spent the morning just moving pads here and there and about a lot of it's in the storage because we're going to save a lot of these to sell in a pair of months. Now. For example, the eggs and that. We'll sell those around December time. Well, yeah, anyway, so here we are at the shop. We've got some flowers, mushrooms, sugar again. Along with some planks and furniture. I thought prices are so decent for those. So, why not sell them? Go. Just get a decent hole for this. Especially for the furniture in there. That's it. Look at that, 157 grand. That's a nice little thing to have. And let's go. Which we could do with the cotton harvester at the moment. Oh, where's the case to? Ah, uh, case is here. Let's go and grab this sec. First, we need to move that gold pallet and sell, sell that. So, I'll watch we're over here, might as well, you know. Just move the old pallet here and there. Well, heck, we can even take it to the shop with us. So much more in here. Oh, three packs of planks. Yeah, heck it, sure, why not? At least said we can keep this empty. And that one's almost full. Because I think we'll still have a few more 
honey pots going in. There we go. I mean, just about the hydraulics tonight is just very responsive. Look at that, we're doing these. Beef. Yeah, perhaps not do a source of shop now because we don't want the buyers and that at the shop. Or at least the people at the shop see what we're doing with our produce. May think something of us about that. But yeah, got some more planks. Ooh, got a couple more sugar pallets. More flour. Flour. Grab that. Chuck it about. And then we'll take it over here to the dairy. Well, the dairy on the industrial bakery. It's right for everything. For produce and that. Nothing's missing at the moment, so all good. But yeah, we've got another old pallet, so that's going to be about another 16 grand or so on top. So, yeah, might as well grab one more sugar pallet. There we go. That is 25,000, 500, 26,793, 92. And yes, what's we're here, eh, mates? Grab the last sugar pallet. Actually, let's see if. Actually, now I doubt it will be needed elsewhere at the moment. Because even though this one sets sore, the other one is producing sugar at the moment at the farm supply production. And it's doing alright at the moment, I think so. You know what? Let's just sell this last pallet. So now what we're gonna do is get back onto the straw picking. Also we need to think about getting this fill motion cultivated as well. So should we use this or keep the fence? Oh heck it why not let's use this. Well one thing we de do need to do is actually top this up because it's almost out of fuel. You know, five hours of work already since we've had this. Don't know why that front loader's glitching away. Now you've got the fuel tray over there, but yeah, I think it's that cotton. What is ready to harvest? Ah, it's just the grass field is ready to be cut. But next time we've got our corn, our grass field, and the cotton fields. Okay, that'd be interesting when that happens. So it's gonna be a busy October. Uh, fuel tank is over here. Filled up. How's the cotton harvester? 
That can do with a topping up as well. Go get the right camera angle. There we go, that's filling up. That's short. Let's turn the lights and engine off on that. Yep, so let's go back to what you're doing. I think the fence. Yeah, it's on the other side of the field. We do have another four trailers out worth, so let's go and see that a sec. Okay, that is load number five of the Shrew. And we would have a million of the years, but we only have 949,000 of the years. That's because we took some Shrew over, obviously, to top the cows and the TMR production. But yeah, so anyways, that is a million litres of straw already we've got picked up. Didn't really see that much off camera, but I think that's a million litres and say easy. I'll say we've probably got another million or so left to pick up, so that's going to be a huge task. Also, we can go around just a little bit doing like swaths and that, picking these up now. I'm putting them into neat little swaths, little swath rows and that, so. Yeah, ten it's quicker just doing it this way because it produces up 14 miles an hour compared to 11. That's a 33% increase in speeds, but obviously for these ones here we can get away with, but because already that is another 30,000 liters of stroll. So yeah, I think we'll get another million liters or so. But yeah, so on some news I've heard about American Falls. As we already know, Nancy Boy ain't come back to modding on FS. He's got some other projects he's doing with game development. So I think what I've heard with American Falls is the update that is going to be for the console release is with Giants at the moment. So we may see that soon. I'm hope I'm hopefully we see that soon because then we can get American Falls underway, alongside Court Farms, and how that work with four Let's Plays potentially. That's well, I mean it depends on how long it takes to get to because we're still going to do many episodes left here on New Man's Land. By spring we're just kicking off of that so maybe a case of try to do two episodes a week of each series if we can get away with that. That would mean a double upload on one day. But yeah, that's just a bit of, that's extra working out so I think if I got time for it, yeah sure I'll do it but no guarantees and a lot of it will just play by ear and out. But anyways, we will continue on this, get us all done, do one more time and that's us smash all this out, and then we can just bask in how much we've got in the straw. How much do we have? If I had to guess, 2 million we'll have by the end of this, but there's only one way to find out.
Final load of Stroll didn't quite hit 2 million. We hit, we're, what was that, 12,000 euros off? No, 22,000 euros off. So, actually, not that far off from my rough guessing of how much we've done. But, anywho, I am happy with that. That's enough Stroll for TMR by a factor of. 12, 13, but also this is enough straw for the cow, so that's more important, so there we go. Actually, speaking of which, how is our team, our production going? Because I think I did turn it off last night. Okay, Hayes being done drying. Turn you off. Spores cakes for now. Got quite a bit of methane. But yeah, we need silage, so let's put fifty thousand liters of silage in here. Get that taken over. Well, yeah, I think what we could do next is perhaps get some money from the methane. Get the tanker, get Surrey over. And then, yeah, we could buy a tanker. Yeah, that's close enough. 49,889. Actually, if we put the wind rower over here. Yeah, I know I'm scratching my equipment all over the place again. Even got that shed over there, we haven't really used to the to be honest, but... How much sir do you have from the cows? 42,000 litres and 22,500 litres of milk. So a decent amount. To the tanker. And yeah, we'll get some Surian. But yeah, the tanker I'm on about in question that can help with the methane transport. Like these ones here are provided by AIM Gym. They can transport methane, but 68 grand to only transport 32,000 litres. I'd rather go with A2 Studios TLX 48 footer tanker trader. And that's the English i I'll keep it standard. Flamble liquid. Inhalation hazard, yeah, sure, for methane. Yeah, I have a tree attached on the back. Yeah, not something like that. Twenty-seven thousand and seven hundred. That means it freezes up, so you don't have to constantly you know, reconfigure this all the time. I'm just going to grab it now. So 
see if we can get this sent over. Get Zuri, then um, perhaps skip a bit of four time to get some more methane. Also, we can do silage as well. Stop that from going in a sec. Potato, sugar beet, slurry, silage. But yeah, let's go and get all this transported over a sec. So, right, we got the tanker over here, and now we got. I thought, heck it, 200,000 litres of silage. Sure, why not? Silage only seventy thousand years. And already we're at the limit for the methane. Cut from here a sec. in the dairy. So that one. But yeah, this should be are just ramping for this. Pops up in used markets since we're skipping the heads. Okay, that is full. But yeah, I just want to see how much we can get for the methane. Is it actually worth doing it compared to, say, sudden silage and that? So we've got 67,000 kilograms of methane gas. We're going to have a look, shall we? See how much money goes up. 67,000. If we say, I don't know, get about 40 grand, then yeah, it'd be worth it. Compared to send silage and slurry separately. And yeah, I think it's actually worth it, is it? I can't remember what we started with, but we'll see the final total. 53 grand, so you know what? That's actually worth it. Of course, we have a look in prices, there's nothing for methane. I don't think, I'm pretty sure there's nothing. No, so beans, all that. Grape juice, shoes, pancakes, maple syrup, raw milk, corn oil, soybean oil. We are going up back up here to the top. I think, I think methane was shit around here perhaps, but yeah, there's absolutely nothing for methane gas, so see I got a new analysis of when's it the best time to sell. 
fast gas, perhaps around the winter time, makes sense. People using more gas out in the winter, but again, I could be wrong on that. Some of our flower because that all selling that was full, like over 50,000 litres. So I thought we'd not just grab that and sell that, along with some sugar in that. So that's why money is a bit higher than normal. But yeah, so I think we'll get another 53 grand for that. But if there is a price difference, then we'll see it now. If anything, it'll go up. If it's like your normal price, it's where it goes up in winter and that. So I think the yeah, methane is gas and that. But yeah, 53 grand again, so pretty much exactly the same, I think it is. But yeah, so, anyways, we got a few bits to do. We've got to get the draw bar back on, we've got to get this field, these two fields here, mulched and cultivated. Also, we've got our grass field ready to mow as well. That's ready to mow. And so is that. Of course, yeah, that's the extra day it has with mowing. So, if anything, we can mow it in November if needed, so it's not a big issue. But yeah, let's sort of round off the episode. Let's go ahead and buy the corn header. So. Do you want an 80 meter corn header? Or do we want to play it sensible? And not so much the tall height control stuff. But 10 miles an hour compared to that, or 6 miles an hour. You know what? I'm going to go with this, so. Go with a class green. Go get the combine. Literally left it as where it was. But yeah, 180 grand for that. Does seem a bit expensive. If we could do corn again, that's got to be planted in April. But saying that, we could do corn and perhaps do a massive silage, do a maize crop. Yeah, that's an option for us, but... on this. But anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, first just do. Hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is farmer and Void Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.